Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial of how to pre-cache an area for streaming or just flying, whatever, to make your areas that are photogrammetry much, much better. Um, as it stands, most of the time you go replacing photogrammetry, it looks like crap. I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's really quite easy and we're going to jump right into it here. Got a quick flight. It's going to go from JFK over to Teterboro. Airport, we're gonna go up down in Manhattan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-cache from the airport over. We're gonna do most of Manhattan and over to the other airport, roughly. And we'll pre-cache it and then we'll fly it and I'll show you how much better it looks and why do it. And the reason for why is it puts all this data in high on your hard drive. So it's there right away. It doesn't have to download and it downloads when it's pre-cached at high, it's at the highest resolution quality possible. So it's definitely worth it. So it's real simple to do. Once you know where you're going, you just jump right out. Go to your options. General options. If my general options want to come up. Sometime today. Go to data. Go down to manual cache. Cache, cache, whichever. And we already have one Pittsburgh Raceway. It's about five gigs. You can go ahead and get rid of that. So we've already been there. And we're going to cache a new region. We're going to do it at a high level once we get there. The level is determined by how closely you are zoomed in to cache an area. We know we're going from Newark. We're going to come across here from Kennedy, not Newark, sorry. We're going to go from Kennedy. JFK Airport. We're going to shoot across, up through here, up Manhattan Island, and then over to Teterboro over here. That's where it's actually Teterboro Airport's right there. So a lot of times what I like to do is mark the airports where I'm going first. And the, so you're at medium, keep scrolling until you hit high. There you go. And I like to do the whole airport area in high. It just shows up the airport better. And then we'll go over and highlight the other airport. The easiest way to do it, do both airports first. And the, the level that you load in at low, medium, high is depending on how close you are scrolled into it. That's Kennedy, right? Yeah, that's Kennedy. Go ahead and scroll in until we hit high res. And again, do this entire airport. Uh, left click pulls the map around as you can tell I keep it in the wrong one right click scrolls but do not go down one past the bar here or it will not pick it up we're going to go ahead and do this whole effort and whenever you load an area it automatically loads this area in high this area in medium this area in low so that's basically saying all right I'm going to be flying right here where it's high I can see this area fairly well so we're going to make that medium and then I can slightly see this area and that'll be low level so it, it really takes into account where you're flying now we're going to make our path up to Manhattan and I may sometimes do that from out here in medium and then go back and hit it so I can follow it better when I'm when I know I'm flying I'll put it back I'll go in later and put it in high res and I'm cutting over to the tip of Manhattan Island we know we want all that all of this area Ellis Island we want this whole area and we're going to shoot up Manhattan and we're going to go make sure we go over here and we're going to come up Central Park and then we're going to head over to TD River Airport so now that's all been done in medium the main area the main path has all been done in medium now we can go back in. Well, not all of it, but there it is. Now we can go back in, zoom back in until we hit high res, and reset the whole thing with high resolution where we're actually going to be flying, roughly where we're going to be flying. But I like to do it with the medium so it gives me a better idea of what my flight path is going to be. Have you seen any major objects that you might want to see on the way in high res? You can also bounce them in to make sure you get them at this intersection make sure we hit that 
Yeah. And when we get to the bridges, we'll hit them. We'll hit Ellis Island and high res because it's an area we may want to swing around. You know our flight plan is going to roughly be going this way. There's the main bridges. We'll hit them. We're going to hit Ellis and high res get the port too just in case you want to turn that way and we're going to want to hit right here because it's the uh, Statue of Liberty we'll make sure we get that in high res we'll get the port just little things and we're going to want to get all of Manhattan because it's all in photogrammetry we want it preloaded so it's nice and smooth we're going to get all of Manhattan gonna make take a while to download it all but it is what it is we want to make sure we get the bridges because the bridges bridges most of the bridges in photogrammetry are crap unless they're hand drawn so this helps a little bit not on all situations some situations you still got the water creeping up the side of the bridge or land creeping up the side of the bridge that's what you do you just literally go to and paint the areas you want I do a lot more high res in case I want to turn and go elsewhere in the city. Try to get the ports. Make sure I don't miss anything. And I know I'm not going to head up here too much. So we're going to just paint the rest of the city here. Probably not going to do Western Island because I'm not going over there. Yeah, there's no need. We're going to make sure we get all for Billionaire's Row and all of Central Park and we'll start on our way across to Teterboro we know we're going to fly this way so we'll get back in there get the high res done that's all of that and then if you look there's any little things like certain railroad or road intersections you might want to show up a little better you can highlight them. There's buildings or like a baseball stadium, even though it's just a park. You can do little things like that, independent buildings along the rivers to make sure they load properly or better. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and give this a region. We're going to call it uh, Manhattan, or this one's got New York City. We know what it is. And you do finish and download. The download takes time depending on. Well, just depends on how good your internet is, how long it takes, how much you chose and selected. And we'll be back right after it's done downloading, and then we'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and fly it. Alrighty, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're back. Now you can see that it finally finished downloading. It took about 5.44 gigabytes to download the section of New York City we got. All in high res. Some of it's not quite, but enough of it. And now we're going to go ahead. You can see it's all down here. So it's got a name. You can have as many regions as you have hard drive space for. You select them, delete them, whatever. But they will automatically load if you're playing them. So we're going to jump out of here. We're going to jump back into the world map. I right, got our camera, our twin navi on. And we're going to make the flight. And you'll be able to see quite a few differences when you fly like this. Okay, we're back here, ready to fly, and you will notice a couple things right off the bat if you've ever flown here before. First off, the quality of the airport is in much better shape. The bat, but you can notice something right over here. You can see Lower Manhattan, and you can see several of the buildings up around. Thing already loaded while you're sitting on the runway. You still got a ways away, but they're all fully loaded already. And it makes a big difference when you're coming into a city to be able to see the tall buildings. If you're within visual range, you can see them when you pre-cache like this. So that's a real handy thing feature. We're going to go fly around real quick. Don't really need the map map on. We got a little bit here on our dash, but I'm pretty much knowing where we're going. And you'll see how nice and smooth this is. I only have a RTX 2060. And you will notice that I don't have any issues with New York City once you do this. We'll even go outside. 
See how much nice of the airport's nice and smooth and clear and loaded. Yeah, trim the air flight aircraft out a little bit. We'll get trimmed out more neutral. These lines, I can't help anything about it. That's a thing issue with Microsoft in the water lately. You can notice I can spin it around. It's not jittery. It's not stuttery. All of Manhattan buildings are loaded long before we even get there. So that any city this works for, that's photogrammetry, or any city at all, for that matter, doesn't necessarily have to be photogrammetry. Here's the little racetrack park thing I made sure I circled so it'd be in high res. Or the highest resolution they have available for the photogrammetry. You know, it's definitely absolutely worth it. There are a few artifact lines, and I think some of that's a DX12 that I've been playing with. But you can see this is smooth, and there's tons of people here. It's one of the heaviest loaded areas around, as far as just buildings and everything that's got to load in for data. And by the way, oh, I'm way over stress managing. Let me pull myself back here a little bit. Get trimmed out good. I'm just going to give a little quick plug out here to the uh, Camera Nav, the Twin Navion. It's a great little plane made by a small developer. I highly recommend you run out and grab yourself a copy of one. You won't be disappointed. Many YouTube streamers have been playing it lately. Uh, he's pretty active in the community too, he listens to the people. And he really went into a lot of detail on these aircraft, so it's, it's well worth it. I'm going to put that plug in there. I do recommend you go grab it for yourself. It is on sale. Well, I don't think it's on sale, but it's for sale on flightsim.to. But you'll notice really quickly how far out I am and how everything's loaded already. All the buildings are there. Buildings aren't popping up at the last minute. And like I said, I don't have the newest hardware. I don't have the greatest stuff. But I can stream this smooth as silk with no issues. Without having a 4080 or 3060 or any whatever latest greatest stuff. I'm, I mean, mine's not slouch, but it's, it's, it's far from the highest. And it shows that you can still stream and have high quality. You see why going out and doing the bridges made a big difference. Even not flying over them, you can see the full bridge. Any of the handcrafted bridges with photogrammetry, preload them, it makes all the difference in the world. Like down here in the port, of the port areas, more bridges. I do have the Orbix <laughs> fun with friends. Highly recommended if you don't have it to grab it. Another plug. <laughs> I don't get paid from either one of these. Just great plugs. The Orbix fun with friends is the best five bucks you'll spend on this sim. But we're going to take a quick buzz over Ellis Island over to the uh, Statue of Liberty and then we'll come back up Manhattan and head out for the uh, for the airport just to show you how much a difference it makes loading it in see these water artifacts have been pretty standard lately and we're going to stutter which is just a server load it has nothing to do with pre-caching but look at the detail on the island when you pre-cache it it just makes all the difference in the world Oh, and the ships are from Seafront Simulations as well. More product placement. <laughs> and I don't make a dime from any of them. Drop down, take a quick peek at the Statue of Liberty and how well the island looks when you pre cash it in high res. Yeah, absolutely makes a big difference. 
those water artifacts have been since the last update and I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the like I said ever since I switched over to running DX12 full time I've had those so I gotta bear with it but it has nothing to do with the pre-caching whatsoever and we're gonna fly up Manhattan Photogrammetry still has issue with the trees on the sides of the buildings. That's a photogrammetry thing. Some of the buildings are garbage, like this one. I don't know why it's not handcrafted. Photogrammetry, it looks terrible. Like the World Trade Center should be handcrafted, but it's not quite. It's the photogrammetry, which is still has the trees running up the building. It is what it is. But you can notice a lot of Manhattan, it loads in perfectly well. Still smooth. No issues. And by going out and hitting the little bits of the port over there, it helped keep it smooth. Bridge over there did not load. Typical underneath. Very common. It shows. I really wish Microsoft would fix the number of trees and cities at you. Manhattan doesn't have this many. <laughs> That's a Microsoft issue, not a photogram tree. But as you can see, no stutters. Everything looks really well. Usually photogram tree looks like crap if you're below 3,000 feet. <laughs> really makes all the difference in the world when you're flying on the sun. And I have no idea why they don't have the GW Bridge, probably one of the most famous bridges going in and out of New York City that's not handcrafted. Makes no sense. Even Central Park looks better. You can see their baseball parks down there. Like I say, it, it does make an amazing difference. And look at how smooth it is. Like I said, it is one of the most intensive areas in the simulator as far as hammering your CPU and your graphics processors and everything. And I'm just cruising through it. No stutters, no issues, no loads, no problems. So you can stream, you can cache, you can do all this stuff on a medium machine and still have decent quality. 